What's up everybody, it's me Kevin Du. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, this is another quick update video about my Anet A8 3D printer. So basically, what changed? First of all, it's not printing. But that's not because it's broken or something, it's just not in use right now. But anyways, let's talk about the first upgrade I did. And this is the Y-Belt Tensioner. Last time, in the last video, you have already seen this um, base plate and the screw fi uh, finished. But yesterday in the evening I just printed the other two side holders or whatever you might call them and started. For this installation I needed these 12mm um, 12 M3 screws um, but I only had three of them. So what I did, I went to the local DIY store just around the corner and bought some uh, and some other nuts and washer stew cost me all less than one euro. Another thing that changed is that I finally managed to wrap all these um, cable protectors around these cables near the extruder, which is, to be honest, a thing I could have already been doing a while back ago, but yeah, I'm a lazy guy, and so on. Yeah, another thing that I managed to do is to print a X-belt holder which you will see in another video that I prepared before but I was too stupid for preparing an intro as well so you will basically go back in time before these protectors and the M Y belt tension that was installed so yeah okay so this is the back of my 3D printer a few issues here as you can see the cables here to the right are a complete mess I will clean it up with printing an electronics case in future then second um, I need to remount this carriage on the belt because I fitted myself a new belt holder or belt mount whatever and basically it's not finished yet I need to install this belt put it in into this um, curved cut here to achieve something like here to the right um, if it's not focused sorry come on no come on so now it is as you can see, it interlocks itself, so you don't need any wire strippers anymore, which is what I try to do. So if anyone is asking here why the, to the left there are not three screws, but only two, that's because the um, <laughs> manufacturer didn't um, make a threaded hole, or didn't put a thread into the hole, and I actually drilled it up with a 4mm um, drill. And yeah, basically what I need to would need to do is to put a nut on the other side but the problem is that the screws the 18 screws that are the default 18 screws are too too short for putting a nut to the back and yeah and i fucked it up i finished installing the left belt now but what happened is basically because there was quite a pressure on these a part that is supposed to be in the middle of the curve that broke off and here it is I think I can still use my uh, this, belt, this belt mount because it's now as stable as it was before so yeah it probably should work anyways so every time I see the back of my 3d printer I remember that I am really this stupid for wiring the heated bed probably because I wired it up and then to the electronics board but normally you're supposed to turn the heated bed by 90 degrees so that the cables otherwise come out here and then you should um, connect them by this hole there to the electronics board um, yeah I'm going to do it but only when I have printed myself a cable chain so this is not the fix I'm going to do in the next days yeah that's basically it for today's upgrades but let's just quickly talk about the next upgrades I'm going to do. One of the first um, is going to be an upgraded spool holder. Because the main problem with this current or the default spool holder is that if the filament coming from the holder is tight, like for instance I'm demonstrating right now, the extruder motor here simply has no force or not enough force for pulling on the roll. So basically if it's as tight as here the extruder starts clicking and nothing is extruding 
So to avoid this I have to check back every minute or so, or a few minutes. And if it's tight I just need to roll here on the spool roll to untighten it so that the printer can print. And this is quite a problem because I cannot really let the printer print alone here. So the other big upgrade I'm thinking of for this printer in near future is basically a whole new extruder. So yeah, basically this here is a direct drive extruder, meaning that um, the extruder motor, which is pushing the filament through into the hot end, as well as the hot end is bo uh, both mounted on the carriage, um, which has one big negative aspect, and this is this so-called transition zone, it's the zone between the hot end and the extruder motor. Um, the big problem with it is that for, for no reason, BLA starts jamming up this transition zone. Maybe it's too hot, maybe there is too little cooling, I don't know. But yeah, I don't really like the design and so I will probably upgrade it to a bigger... Uh, to N. It's got something like this transition zone but with more heatsink. Some, um, for instance, the E3D V6, but probably just a clone. I cannot afford the original one. And this extruder will then be Bowden type meaning that the extruder motor, which is basically the same one, will be mounted either on this side or on this so side, but it's stationary on the frame then, and not moving on the with the carriage, um, making the carriage um, f um, first lighter, and second, it can print with, uh, printer can print with much higher speeds, therefore. So, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will try to answer every question. So thanks for watching guys, it's me coming to you, out.